Hey, I'm Michael. I live in Berlin and I work as a mentor in Makerspaces to teach kids being creative with technology. And in this video, I want to explain all the basics that you need to know to get started with paper circuits. With paper circuits, you can explore electronics and technology without the need for special tools like wire strippers or soldering irons. This makes paper circuits easy to create and perfect for kids. Another big plus of paper circuits is that they are very visual and easy to understand compared to messy wires. Paper circuits are similar to PCB boards, which simply look cool. By tracing every connection themselves, kids learn how the circuit operates. And as an educator, you have the possibility to include any information you like into the print template. When finished, kids can fold and glue the paper circuit together to create a real invention. And in the end, it is easy to recycle the components and reuse them in other projects. All that's going into the trash is a piece of paper. The most important part of any paper circuit is good conductive tape, because bad conductive tape will make loose connections and annoy you. So I did extensive testing to find the best choice, which is conductive nylon fabric tape of 8mm width. It is highly conductive, has conductive adhesive and makes the most durable connections. 8mm is easy to work with for kids and you can always cut it in half to double its length. The batteries I use are small button cells. They are cheap and lightweight but have enough energy for everything we need. Using them is easy. I use a binder clip and this fold over corner to connect my battery to my circuit. Doing it that way is easy and cheap but makes a really strong connection. And you can exchange the battery anytime. Just remember one thing. The two poles of the battery are only separated by this small insulating ring. So conductive tape could accidentally short circuit the battery. If this happens, your circuit will not work and you will feel the battery getting slightly warm. Besides that, I never experienced any problems with these batteries. For electronic components, through hole components with long legs are much easier to use with paper circuits. I do not use surface mount because they are often tiny and more difficult to connect. Components are attached with short strips of conductive tape. For corners in your tracks, you can use one of the following methods. You can simply attach two overlapping strips in a corner. But this method only works with conductive tape that has conductive adhesive, like the one I use. Or you just glue the tape around the corner, even if it looks messy. Ah, one more tip. Always cut the tape separate from the backing. Then it is easy to peel off the backing next time. In case you have two tracks crossing each other, you can use some regular tape in between to add an insulation between the tracks and avoid short circuits. If something is not working in your circuit, here is my typical way of debugging paper circuits. First check if your battery has a short circuit by removing it and feeling if it is slightly warm. Then press down on all connections to repair loose connections. If you use an LED, turning around the battery can help because LEDs only work in one direction. Check if you have conductive tape touching each other where they shouldn't touch. Use another battery in case yours is empty. Exchange the component, maybe it's broken. So that should help you out in most cases, at least with easy circuits. To get started with paper circuits, I recommend my easy circuit template to play around with different components. If you have, you can use VeloStart in between the switch. This turns the switch into a pressure sensitive button to control the components. I have made a complete list of needed components for paper circuits. So if you want to use the exact components I use, follow my links in the video description. You can even recreate my paper box for sorting everything. So this is my first video of my basics series. There will be more videos about what components are great and how to use them in paper circuits. So if this is interesting to you, consider subscribing. Yeah, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.